Okay, we have senior Amir Sims. Please go ahead with questions. Hey, Amir, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, congratulations on a win. I, I know you're all about the, the team win, but um, how good does it feel uh, just to have uh, reached that milestone, the 1,000-point club, just the 42nd Tiger to do so? And you're in the, even a more exclusive club with, uh, with, with Trevor Booker and Horace Grant and uh, Larry Nance. Honestly, it's a blessing, you know, glory, to God be the glory first off, but, you know, it's definitely been a journey, I think, and, you know, with this type of program, you definitely got to, you know, pay your dues and do the dirty work for a while. And then as the time comes, you know, you're prospering to that player. And I think that's what's transpired here with myself and others in the past, but it's definitely a blessing to join those great guys that came before me and kind of paved the way for a guy like me to kind of reach that milestone. Amir, Joe Gorcho, WIS TV in Columbia. Nick called it a shooter's paradise when you play a zone. That's not always the case for teams that play Syracuse. But for you guys today, it did look like a paradise. Why were you guys able to find so much success in early, mind you, against a normally stingy zone defense from Syracuse? Um, with a team like Syracuse, you know, you want to pepper the ball really fast. You use pepper as a term to like fast moving, ball moving, just kind of get them loose. Because if you start off and you pass slow and lethargic with it, they'll just sit there and let you pass back and forth. But when you keep moving the ball to a good speed, it's going to space the zone out, which will allow everyone else to get their shots off. I think that's how Nick was so successful tonight when he was shooting the ball because he was just peppering the ball, kind of getting their minutes to sink in just a little bit and give them space. And eventually, once they guard you out, then you start to go inside, which we did as well. Amir, this is Larry Williams with TigerIllustrated.com. Um, as, as you are trying to, I guess, describe how you guys look so much better, uh, I guess, and are so much more energetic uh, the last two games than you were previously. How vital do you think just the mere act of seeing shots go in early in the last two games, uh, how important has that been in, in sort of transforming you guys uh, and giving you energy? Uh, it's definitely very important. You know, as a human being, when you start to miss shots, you're going to naturally kind of give in and kind of let it affect how you play defensively. And that's kind of been our theme in those four, uh, the four out of six games we played in which we lost by 20 plus and we kind of let our shots not go in and affect how we play on defense. But, you know, just like like Nick said earlier, just taking some time away from basketball and thinking about what we want to accomplish, you know, you got to start to suck it up and you can either just lay down or you can go to the fight every single time. And I think that's what we've been doing. And it starts with our practice and it starts with our habits. And that's what we've been doing over the last week and a half and just building good habits and practice so they can translate to the game. So it's definitely helpful to see the ball go through the net. Amir, uh, you scored two points right off the bat out of the gate, but then it, it took you a little bit, little while to get that thousandth point. Um, was it in your head at all? And, and how cool was it to, to um, break the milestone with a three-pointer? Um, it, it was definitely a good feeling to break that. But, you know, I don't like to go into games thinking about milestones, stuff like that, because that's the easy way to distract yourself. And, you know, I just let the game come to me. And uh, my, my teammate Clyde did a great job of getting the board after my first miss and kicking it back out, you know, you just practice for shots like that. So when the game comes, it's easy money. So uh, I definitely wasn't thinking about it, but it's definitely a good feeling. Amir, you, you talked about pepper in the ball. Clyde only had two points tonight, uh, but finished with 11 assists. How important was his guard play for you guys' success tonight? Uh, it was definitely important. You know, Clyde's a multi-dimensional player. You know, you can't just think he's going to shoot it every time a drive. He can get anyone assist. He's a very quick guard. So him getting in gaps, it's a lot of trouble for defenses to adjust to. And he did a great job of finding his teammates and his teammates in return did a good job of putting the ball through the net. Yeah, what, what does this win mean for you guys? And do you feel like you're back on track and, and gaining confidence and playing like you were earlier in the year? Uh, it's definitely a huge win for our team. And I think it's a great way to get back on track, starting with the UNC win. You know, just want to keep this thing rolling, taking it one day at a time, starting with our practices, starting with our habits. And, you know, we're just going to not get ahead of ourselves. And, you know, probably enjoy this for the day or so. And then when we get back to practice, like I said, just start building those habits to gear up for Georgia Tech. Amir, you've got six here. You've got six days off before that uh, home game against Georgia Tech. Uh, we, we all know what happened the last time y'all had a, a bit of a break. Um, is, is it a good thing or a bad thing or, or neither one just having having the extra time um, before that next game? Having a break could be this pros and cons to it, but I think just with our team, we've got to keep our edge you know, not getting complacent. And that's like I said, fighting human nature, getting comfortable with winning two games in a row. But, you know, having that win in the back of our minds, but also having that loss the last time we were at Georgia Tech in the back of our minds going into practice, I think that would be more than enough to have us ready to go come Friday.
Thank you, guys. Thanks, Amir. Congrats. We'll be right back with uh, Coach Brownell. Congrats.